Welcome back. If you want to see tomorrow's game, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Today's game starts now. All right, we got the white pieces. Oh, all right, we get the Sicilian. This knight f6 move. So again, I think h3. <clears throat> Maybe even before d3. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to do it right away. Ooh, I really don't remember. I really don't remember what happens here. It's got this grip. I feel like it's likely I'm supposed to try to break it. Not sure if I'm supposed to do it all at once or slowly. Probably all at once, right? Why would I do it slowly? The real question is, would I ever take back this way? Try to block him off. I don't think so. I can't do that. I have that controlled. Uh, do I want to give up control of that is an interesting question. Hmm. Do I jump in? Do I jump in? I feel like I might. It feels wrong not to develop first. But I don't want to give up control of this square. And that's really the only way to develop this knight. And I think it's like kind of nice if he takes. So I'm gonna do it. Okay, he's not really threatening anything. I think we can just, I mean, we're almost trapping him here. All right, let's calculate real quick. So if we're here, I guess he can go there just fine. That's goofy. So yeah, let's do that. Let's put him somewhere weird. Oh. Now we just kick him all the way back. And this is defended already, but... If I develop my knight, I un go here first and then castle short. What's he likely to play here? He's like kind of stuck, right? Is he just going to castle? <clears throat> a little goofy, a little goofy. Hmm. This is interesting. Very interesting position. I'm not sure if I'm playing it the way I'm supposed to, but that's okay. Uh, okay, he's putting a little pressure on. Let's just castle the way we planned. Maybe we go here. All right, he castled now. Let's see. If I go here, I create an outpost but he can't get there. How can I improve these pieces? How can I improve these pieces? Does this break any good for me? I don't think so. Can I attack him somehow? I really don't see how to improve my pieces nicely. 
That. That. Pile up on that. Okay, that's an idea. And an idea is definitely better than no idea. So, a little pressure there. That's a nice way of dealing with it, I think. Why would he undevelop? Is he going to put his queen there? That doesn't make any sense, right? Very strange. Um, very slow. I guess he defended... Oh, it was undefended. Ah! I could have... Could I have taken that pawn? Well, it's not worth looking at now, but I might have missed a tactic there. Okay, now I understand. I think we can soften up this queen side. Maybe force this. Maybe we even want to go here and sack this pawn. If he allows it. I don't think that's good, right? Because it's not like you can take this pawn. So if we go here, he's pretty much got to play that. Oh, then we're left. Not many places to go. We jump in, though. Now we're kind of in business. Yeah, I'll sack, sack this pawn. And we're probably just winning this one back right away anyway, huh? Ooh, do we want to go up? and then have the threat of being doubled. That's extremely likely. Interesting that he went, I feel like he gave me a useful tempo there. I don't think that was smart. Oh! Okay. I think I want to go here, actually, right? Can't go there. He's running out of... He's running out of moves pretty darn quick. threatening this right now. Which you defend by there, but that's no good, right? Oh okay, yeah, he's all the way back. I think this is nasty. Big threat. Big threat. See, so go back here. Whoa, okay. Good for him. Good for him. Am I trapping myself if I jump in? Takes. I guess I can always... Get out that way. So that's a little sketchy. That's very sketchy, actually. Do you move out of the way first? No, then I can go here. That was good. Good by him to find that. 
useful, powerful resource. Ooh, I gotta look carefully here now. Is there... You still gotta control the diagonal? So I don't think there's much I can do. But it's, it's very tempting. Like, if I go here... This guy's actually trapped. Yeah. Okay, let's see what he sees. Okay, <clears throat> now I think the question is, can we bust this open somehow? Oh, you know what? He can't stay there. He'd go here, I guess. He takes. Yeah, this is game over for him. I guess he can defend it for another move, maybe. But we're coming through. And this is deadly. Very deadly. Hmm. Okay, not quite as deadly as I thought. I think that's my only move. Hey, I should have looked at this. I did want to be able to push. But I could bring another rook in. I think that's my plan. This guy's resourceful. Very resourceful. What's he doing with that? Is he gonna push? Is he just gonna go here? Oh, that hangs, don't do that. Hmm, let me just go here for a second. Trade something, push that. It's a little messy. Need to be a little careful. You can play this. That's annoying. Okay. Okay, we need to protect this guy. Hey, I guess he can come here. Is this a mate threat? No, not quite, because of this. I'm kind of tempted to just go there if he jumps here. And then if he takes, promote a new queen and win the game. I think that works. Oh, he disconnected. Sad boy, 
Proxy back. It just works, right? Takes, takes. Check. Mate. Or mate. If he goes here, takes, takes. Let me just bang, hit him with that. Yeah, I think we got this. It's looking for one of those resources. Oh! <clears throat> Alright, let's think let's think about this. Does he create any kind of threat? You know, like sack and you could hit me with a check here. But I don't think that works. I just, I just don't see it. He is pinning me, so I can't like go play this. But I think we just take this and then promote. I think he might be thinking he has this, but forgetting about that or something. Yeah, I don't know what he thinks he sees. He like he might try to lure me off of this with this, or like this, and then he does have the sack. But I'm I'm gonna take with the queen, so. But he's been resourceful. We shouldn't shouldn't count him out. All right. Okay, let's think about where we want to go here. Probably the light squares. Does he miss this? Okay. Do you have something here? Got him. Definitely got him. All right, good game. All right, let's uh, break it down. So we got the Sicilian, and I got a little confused right here, which is fair enough because, oh, by the way, I made the board a little smaller, so I hope it's less fuzzy when I'm looking here. The rest of the time, I'll try to keep it maximized, but um, it's not, not in the repertoire. And it's kind of, I think it's goofy that he put his knight here. I think you want to be able to play f5 if you have this structure. So I think that's why it's not in there. Um, so I'm going to look it up and see if I can find what black's trying to do in these structures and take a peek at that. Okay, so I, I looked it up. And yeah, uh, he's supposed to develop his knight here instead. And probably have a knight here and then use his outpost. And... The rest of what I did made sense, and then the reasoning was all right. So we'll see what the uh, we'll see if this has ever happened on lead chess. Oh, switch the screen. There we go. Um, so we'll start with the masters database. I sort of doubt it, but e5, one game. Oh, and black one. 
like to win a game like this. So it has happened a few times. And d3 is next. So d3 before h3. So I guess I got that a little backwards. Okay, so d3 and then... We did get a bishop e7 in our game shortly thereafter. Let's see, the engine likes, actually likes h3, which was my move. Let's see about regular players. It looks like everything scores pretty well for white. h3 or f4. I think I'll probably remember h3 better because it's usually what I play. Someone like that. Let's see if this transposes to the Masters games uh, once, once they get there. Let's see, what did he do next? So he brought his other knight out. And then I played f4. No, it still doesn't transpose. Okay, let's go back and see if this is similar to the other games. Okay, and then this score is kind of poorly. So I might have gone wrong. Maybe it's a little premature not to play the bishop out. Although... So at this point, it scores well. And then it depends on what they do. Okay. Castles. Did he castles in our game? No, we played, we played takes, uh, takes, takes after. Instead of castles, it was takes, takes. And we got a bunch of games here. Okay, and now White's doing pretty well. Pretty well if he takes. It's the castling right away that's a little trickier. They're supposed to play g4 or something? Or just play the knight? Okay. All right. Well, no problem. No problem. Uh, let's see. He takes. We take. And then I think he played a3. Yep, that's right. And then we jumped in, which uh, I don't know. I'm curious. Let's, we'll see what the engine says. Is there any way that this is right? No, this is bad. This is bad for our structure. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. It should have just developed. So I said that, that was kind of where we went wrong. Instead, we should just do something normal. Go here, and then basically like castle on the next move. That checks out. All right, let's build that. Okay, let's build this real quick. Let's see. Can we remember all the moves? So we, we want to do d3 first instead, even though that wasn't what we did. And so that's where we'll do the first move. And we're fine with this. And then he jumped in, and then we blasted away, and then we took, and then he played a little goofy move, and then we played a goofy move back, which is now what we should have done. But this looks good, and then followed by castles. So let's add that to the cores. And let's change the key move to d3. And add it to the working course, and it's for white. And we're in, all right. And let's uh, let's go check out the middle game and then game. All right, so here's where we left off. He took. He jumped in, which is a little weird. We kicked correctly. He jumped to a weird square. I didn't need to kick him again yet, apparently. Maybe that helped him a little bit. 92, yeah, that seemed normal. Castles, castles. I didn't really know what to do here. This is I was this is the first place I was kind of lost for a plan. I think we ended up deciding to try to attack this pawn, and he ended up hanging it in a move. We'll see if, if I could have actually taken or not. But okay, it looks like that was a fine idea of mine to I wanted to make room for this knight. Oh, nope, nope, absolutely. Uh, not not working. See, I was worried about this. Was that it? No, it was because of this. Bishop takes a4. Takes. Yeah. And this is just basically equal. He's going to be like blockading these. Okay, good. I totally missed it. I didn't even look, but it wasn't there. So it's fine. Yeah, the bishop c8 was weird. What was he supposed to play? Bishop d4, maybe, okay, take this nice outpost. Interesting. He attacked, he moved around. I like that. Oh, he was supposed to do the check, okay. All right, and then here, for attacking, 
Yeah, queen, queen h4 was the best. Good, 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 good. And then he went to defend, and I thought I was going to get him with a nasty tactic. But yeah, he found the best defense. I was supposed to just grab that pawn. Grab the pawn first. Okay. I think I can understand that. Can he move? And bishop takes c5. Grab two pawns. That's why. Ooh, and now we're rolling. We're just oh, going to steamroll this guy. Okay. Okay. That's why. Grab those two. All right. Good play by him. Trading was correct. Grabbing the pawn then was correct. Yeah, and then he shouldn't have gotten out of line here. Queen e7, not quite the best move. Rook ae, just start dominating and say like, hey bro, what are your pieces doing? Or take this. And then start advancing the pawn. That's very interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, I think this made sense to me. He defends it. Oh, of course, a5 first. How did I miss that? a5 first, there's nowhere for him to go. He's got to go back to, yeah, anywhere. Jeez, that was a bad one to miss. I was starting to get low on time, but that's a very poor excuse. Uh, but I, I saw this, and I thought, I, I didn't realize how many resources he had, actually, with this. I was a little surprised. Rook f7, queen e5. Yeah, I did see that. That might have been like slightly more accurate during the game, but... That's fine. We found it. Let's see, it wanted me to jump over to B2. Interesting. Rook B1, we're just strong here. Yeah, and then this was totally working. So, and then I what I calculated was this. Bang, we're winning. And then I, it looks like I calculated it right. And let's see, what did he, oh yeah, he, he played this aggressive way and I figured I could just take, yep, we calculated correctly, h1 was good, was g1 fine? g1 was also fine, good, check, grab another queen, just had to make sure not to do this, although I'm sure it's still winning, yeah, I just need to walk away. This is funny. Now we block here, yeah. Yeah, okay. Easy. We got him with a, a nice mate. All I could do is block, and then we're delivering mate here. So, very nice, happy with that one, very happy.